Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Body game and assortative mating. Now, I'm going to tell you what, this is a very powerful piece. I'm just going to say it's a powerful piece because it gives you an indication of what type of woman would have a natural attraction to you. Now, see, first of all, let me, let me clear up something about body game. Ultimately, it's about having the best body that you can. And yeah, the muscles are important. I always talk about that, especially as a man, because they represent masculinity and everything. But it don't necessarily mean you have to be like some big bodybuilder. And it also don't mean you have to be some slim dude, you know, or some fitness model. Because, you know, sometimes I get some questions from some cats and they'll say, well, uh, what's the best body? There really isn't. And this is the reason why. Women like all types of bodies. And you have all types of uh, bodies present because you have bodies in the range of ectomorphic, which is usually slimmer. Uh, well, not usually, but slimmer. You have mesomorphic, which is more athletic. And then you have endomorphic. And there's a woman that likes all of them when they're in their optimal form. Just like all men, all men don't like women with big breasts or slim women. You know, sometimes that woman gotta have that bud dunk. They gotta be thick, like T-H-I-C-C, -C, thick, or brick house or whatever. And some dudes even like a woman with a little bit extra weight on her. And it's totally natural, there's nothing wrong with that. See, one of the things people have to realize, there's no objective standard. People who try to say that are very ignorant. And I'm gonna say, yes, ignorant. Everybody likes something different. Now, at best, there's a consensus, and I'm saying at best. Like, I give you an example. There was a, there was a, a clip, it was shared by someone uh, on IG, and it showed this white woman, this white woman, and she supposedly had this, they were saying she had the perfect ass and everything. And brothers were like, hell no. Hell no. And see, that's something I need to get into. Also, you know, there can even be racial differences and stuff in what someone considers attractive. You know, because any to try to say anything else is quite frankly uh, cultural chauvinism. But that's another conversation. So, you know, there's different stuff. Now, assortative mating, what is that exactly? Assortative mating is uh, simply the science that says people well, people and animals, they, they, they extend it, not just to animals, but uh, not just to people, but to animals. But they say people will mate with someone who is on a phenotype more, most sim uh, similar to them. And it's uh, really two types of assortative mating. So it's like if, uh, you know, someone is slim, they would have a natural attraction for someone slim as well. If someone is more endomorphic, bigger, they will have a natural attraction to somebody similar. And then, you know, they'll say, you know, similar proportions, and they'll even go into uh, race, complexion, stuff like that. Now, of course, of course, there's tons of six, uh, exceptions to that, but in general, in general, if you take a really good look at couples that seem like they're happy, they have a good vibe. You'll look at them as it was used to be said, are they a couple or are they brother and sister? There's always a similarity, a body build. Well, most of the time, like I said, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm gonna say the exceptions. I said tons of exceptions, not really. And when you talk about body build, when you talk about the physicality, even if they racially different, you look at them, it's like, well, hold up. They both stocky, you know, the woman might be thicker, the dude is stocky, or they both slim, or, you know, it's, it's a lot of little stuff. And, that, and, and, you know, some people will say, well, will they both be tall? It's like, well, look at the body proportions. That's really the best way to really understand it. Now also, and I'm not gonna get into this as much, there's also social assortative mating. Social, which means people mate according to the same class, educational level, all the social factors. And I've talked about that before. That's why I said stuff like religion. 
your economic class, your subculture, that plays a part in relationships. That plays a part because people look for something similar, especially women. Women actually look for it. Like people always, like men used always used to say, hypergamy, hypergamy. Technically, technically, hypergamy means a woman moving for up from one class to the other. You don't see it as much with men, so I'll say women moving from a poor class to a higher class. But if you're really going to be honest about that, the only women who can really do that are the very attractive ones. The woman needs to be in the eight to 10 range to even think about it, to even think about it. Because a man, a higher class man with money is not going to deal with a lower class woman who looks like playing Jane. Not even for quick sex. Let's just be, keep it honest. So most women, most women who are in that middle range, they stay where they at. So, you know, the hypergamy thing, let's just throw that out, okay? People get it wrong, like a lot of other stuff. Like even see, and let me just go on a tangent real quick, even semen retention, because I always see some guys, yeah, I'm practicing semen retention. Technically, semen retention is having sex with a woman. You in her raw, but you, you control your semen to the extent that you don't ejaculate. You know, everything else is no fap, okay? So that's true semen retention. If you can do that, you're powerful. But getting back to the body game and assortative mating, your body will draw someone similar. Because, okay, say, okay, say you see a woman, she got, I mean, she's one of those thick women, like thick breakhouse women. As soon as I see that, I already have a general idea what type of a man she's gonna go for. And I've never seen it. I, I haven't seen it felt. It's very rare. Okay, like the brick house type of woman. She got the big breasts, flat stomach. Uh, she got the curve. She got the butt dunk and all of that. Um, she probably ain't going to get some slim dude. She probably ain't going to get some slim dude. Maybe a bigger, a bigger, that type of woman indeed. She'll, she'll get a dude who's either... Uh, you know, kind of like built and all of that himself. That's gonna be her most natural attraction. Now, if he's grossly overweight or something, no, no. But a bigger woman, say she ain't so much a brick house, but she's a bigger woman, she will tend to go for that type. See, you got a lot of women. That's why I say there's no universal thing as far as the uh, body game other than having some muscle. Other than having some muscle, and this is a very key thing to understand. Um, and then everybody, anybody, any man can have muscle. And when I say muscle, it means, you know, if he's slim, his body is tight. He got a tight body, you hit him, he's hard. So a slim man can have muscle. Don't think bodybuilder muscle, but you know, you can still develop, you can still be cut in everything. But then that type of woman who will want that is a more slimmer type of woman. And like I said, there's exceptions. I'm only general, but if you really pay attention, the general exception is women as a group prefer a man bigger than them as a group. Now, yeah, sometimes we see those number 10 relationships where the man is slim and the woman is real big. Watch out for those types. Cause usually that's a mother son relationship. When I say mother, the woman has some control and she's more matronly and she get a guy that she can treat like her son. But y'all don't wanna do that. As a man, you wanna be in a position of uh, leadership as a man. You don't, want, you, don't, you don't want a mother. You need a wife. You need a help meet. You need a woman in submission to your mission. So and a big part of that is the physicality. So that's why sometimes you'll see a slimmer woman or, you know, nice body woman, and the guys, you know, they got some meat on them or something, but that's they, they, if you really take a look at them, their body builds are similar, really. Even when I say, okay, yeah, she, you might see her, but it's like, oh wait, you know, she really works out hard, he works out hard. Like when I see a woman, like I say, let me use the thick example again, the T-H-I-C-C, -C. and y'all know thick, you know, nice curves, body and everything. They, whenever I see them, is all is most of the time, that guy, he, he got that football player build or something. 
and got that football player build. But then when you see that real slim woman, she got the more like slimmer build man. And like I said, I know some people think, well, because of this or that, uh, you know, well, you know, my mouthpiece or something, I can, you know, get it. It's like, no, understand something at a basic thing. On a deep level, both men and women look for themselves. Look for themselves. So they get along better with a person that's built similar to them. Like I use myself, now y'all see me, I ain't no little guy. I ain't no little guy. I look like I'm a linebacker or a fullback in the NFL. In fact, I've had some people actually ask me, okay, did you used to play uh, football? All the time, to this day. All right, the women I click with the best, I click with the best, tend to have that like brick house build, tend to be thick. In fact, that, that's my joint be like, oh yeah, here you go. So I love, it's like, boom, it's like, boom. And even the slimmer ones who, like I said, there's always gonna be some exceptions. Even the slimmer ones will tend to be slim thick. The slimmer ones will tend to be slim thick. Now there's been some exceptions. Like I said, there's gonna be some exceptions where people, they might be, uh, and that, that brings in the more social aspect of assortative mating. Because even in those situations where physically the couple don't look like they belong together. If you talk to them and really talk to them, you'll find they have a ton of stuff in common. But like I said, that's a whole other conversation. So the point is, if you have, if, okay, you know you built up a certain way. Like everybody, like genetics plays a big part in body game. I haven't talked about that, but I'm gonna have to start bringing that out. Genetics play a big part. Like everybody is not gonna be like that slim model type, you know? And then everybody's not gonna be that big alpha showpiece type. But you have to say, okay, where's my, where's my best body build? All right, what type of women like that? And you gonna find is someone with a similar body build. Like I say, whenever I meet, run into that thick type of woman or something, boom, it's almost too easy. It's almost, they almost come, they, they'll come to me and I, I peep that. They'll find their way over to me but I have that body in that range that they are naturally attracted to. And then that's why somebody who might, might have uh, that uh, more fashion model, slimmer type of build, if you look at the women who really feeling him, like really feeling, that just some casual thing, really feeling him, slimmer types. And like I said, let me just be clear, let me one more time say it. Yes, there's gonna be exceptions, but then there's more stuff that goes into that exception. But pay attention to that. So if you know, like if you're a dude, you need to be realistic. Is you need to say, okay, when am I presenting? Like if you're totally out of shape, don't get mad if you're getting big girls. Don't get mad if you're getting them, if you're getting them at all. Now, if you want to change that, well, you might have to lose a lot. But then even then there's going to be some limits because, you know, genetics still play a part. But if you can present your best body build, you will, you will definitely get some women who are going to have a natural inclination to be attracted to you. And their body builds are going to be similar. That's why, seriously, just go out and look. When you see couples together, their body builds are usually in the same range. Their body builds are in the same range. This is something you can go out and see for yourself. Most of the time, you're gonna see an exception here and there, but then you don't know the whole story. But most of the time, when they're looking happy, they click, their body builds are in the same range. That's authoritative mating. So anyway, that's all I have for today. Yeah, I gotta go out and get that thick girl. Yeah, get that butt dunk. <laughs> so anyway, y'all, that's all I got for today. I get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.